video we'll be taking up the homework on solving linear systems by elimination. So I really want to emphasize um, if the question is asking you to solve a linear system by elimination, especially on a test, you have to do it by elimination. Uh, we will have questions that will specify a, a particular method and you have to follow that method. Um, so it's very important you can't you that you're able to solve a system by elimination or by substitution. Uh, for question one, I'd argue one A and B are harder than C and D, because to solve one A and one B, you need to first multiply one of the equations. Whereas for C and D, it's it's made for you to eliminate right away. Uh, you didn't have to multiply at all. Uh, so I'll let you go over the solutions. Uh, your solutions can look different than mine because if like for example I can choose to eliminate X and you can choose to eliminate Y uh, but either way we'll get the same solution to the system uh, for question 2 there's just some algebra um, there's some simplifying that takes place before you go and solve the system by elimination uh, so just expand clean up the equation and then yeah uh, solve by elimination Okay, so that's 2a and 2b. Uh, for question 3, um, let's see, for 3a, um, I know we haven't worked with decimals very often, but really they're just like any other number. So um, I chose it, I took equation 2, uh, sorry, equation 1 and multiplied by 2, and I was able to eliminate y. Okay, so don't be threatened uh, if you see a uh, if you see decimals. Now, if you're really bothered by the decimals, so like for this um, system, you can multiply both equation one and two by ten because then that will eliminate all those decimals. Uh, for three B, uh, once again, I'm okay with decimals. So if you you could have a uh, different strategy um, but I just chose to take equation 1 and multiply by 8 and that will give me 4x so I can eliminate x okay uh, for question 4 4 is actually a very common question on a test um, teachers seem to love the fractions so my strategy is very different than most students I'd argue so uh, a lot of students first like to clear the denominators. So for example, uh, equation 1, they multiply both sides by 3. And for equation 2, they have to multiply both sides by 12. But then they have to multiply the equations by another set of numbers to eliminate m or n. So I personally, I, um, I, um, I, just, I just multiplied uh, equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 4 because that will change 1 third m to m and 1 uh, one quarter m to m as well and then that will allow me to, to eliminate m and looking at this now uh, I what I could have done as well is I could take equation 1 uh, and just multiply it by 3 quarters because 1 third times 3 quarters will give me a quarter and that allow me to solve, uh, sorry, allow me to eliminate m. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different ways to go about it. Remember, um, you you you're always able to eliminate by multiplying just one of the equations of the system. Okay, if you have two equations and you want to solve by elimination, you you're always able to get away by just multiplying one equation. You just have to be very creative about it. Um, Okay, so yeah, my way is probably different than yours, but uh, we'll end up with the same solution. Uh, question five, just some uh, veggie subs and roast beef subs, trying to find out the cost. Uh, I eliminated uh, V, so I multiply equation one by five and equation two by two. That will give me 10V and 10V, subtract, and that eliminates V. All right. Um, so six, some uh, cost of one night and cost of one meal. So two nights and four meals is 360. Two, seven nights and 10 meals is 1,200. Wow, that's steep. Anyways, you can solve by elimination, eliminate N or M, uh, whatever you want. 
I chose to multiply the first equation by 5 over 2, which works out beautifully. No fractions still. Uh, eliminate M. So it costs $150 for a night and $15 for a meal. Uh, the length of McKenzie River and Yukon River. Uh, we're going to do a lot more war problems later on, so I'm not spending too much time taking it up. But uh, build your system, that's the hardest part, and then solve it by elimination. Okay, uh, hopefully that wasn't too bad.